Omai wa mo shinderu. Welcome back to Fist of the North Star, Lost Paradise. Cocky little shit. You thought you could break out, huh? What'd you do? Blast your way out? He doesn't have anything on him, sir. Well, look harder. No way he broke out on his own. He's gotta have something. I bent the bars with my hands. You want to see me do it again? You might be more dangerous than I thought. Maybe I ought to just kill you right here, right now. Captain, you have to calm down. We can't punish them without due process. Son of a bitch. Fine then. Take him downstairs and... Nah. Send him to the tenth floor down. What? But that's where we're keeping... Someone just as dangerous as this asshole. But this guy's being held for murder outside of Eden. We could only justify moving him one floor down. He said he bent these bars with his bare hands. If we stick him in a regular cell, he'll just do it again. Then how about two floors down? Security's a lot tighter, and the cells are better. The higher-ups are a lot more likely to approve that, too. Ugh. Fine. Look, asshole. What's your game here? Why'd you let us arrest you? Why'd you run? And why'd you come back? What the hell are you trying to do in Eden? I came to Eden because I was looking for someone. That's all. The hell? You're looking for someone? I have a favor to ask. A favor? You want to ask me? After all the shit you pulled, you think you can get a favor? I heard about the Gladiator games. I want you to let me fight in them. You what? H how, how do you know about the games? Last night when I left, I met a woman in the city. She told me I could win my freedom that way. Ha! Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Just win the games. Sounds like this lady had a sense of humor, at least. Hmm. You know what? Fine. You're in. Are you sure about this? Hey, if a prisoner wants to enter, that's up to them. Ain't my place to turn him away. Besides, that makes my job a lot easier. Guess you got here just in time, champ. This month's games are going down today. Hey, tell him how the games work. Y yes sir Oh yeah, one little thing that I ought to mention. If you break an arm or lose a leg, not our problem. Don't count on any medics coming to save you. Losers get tossed back in their cell. After that, you just lay there bleeding, waiting to die. Still wanna enter? Yeah. Okay, you heard him. We'll make sure you get your shot in the games. Can't wait for the show. <laughs> How exciting. Kinshiro's gonna be a gladiator. What? <laughs> what?
Before we get to the Gladiator games proper, we're going to have uh, three more fights, including this one. Uh, this one mostly serves as a last-minute tutorial saying, hey, do you, are you really sure you know how to do this stuff? I will point out that one thing I'm doing is uh, I'm using these secret techniques as often as possible, because well, the more you use them, the more powerful they get. In the upper right, whenever I use one of them, you'll see a series of three stars. As I get more stars, they gain more power, but they also gain more QTE elements. So, uh, at least part of the reason that I'm using them so much is because when I actually need to use them, I prefer them to be, well, powered up and useful. So Shining Orbs are something we get sometimes when we complete chapters. There are a finite number of chapters, and to get all these Shining Orbs you will need for your maximum upgrades, you will have to play through the game twice. I don't believe this game has a completion list rewards in the same way that Yakuza and Zero or Kiwami does. Instead, they have the, uh, I want to say when you complete something on that list, you, get, you just get more experience. Which is still appreciated. Can always use more experience. Hey! Yeah. This second tutorial introduces us to two concepts. One of them is large lads who, the fat guys, well, they're big and they're tougher than your average guy. The second idea is charge attacks, which I don't realize exactly that's what they're trying to do right now. But until we get this tutorial done, not much is going to happen. So we actually start off with the ability to do charge attacks. Just by holding down the uh, triangle button, you can charge up your finishing blows, which will do more damage. Charging up your blows will also break blocks, so if you're finding yourself with a uh, troublesome enemy who refuses to let down his block, you can break the block and get a, get a quick moment to do some damage. They also will increase your, your stargate a bit faster, I believe. Though, by all means, the fastest way to do that is still by doing a secret technique. One of the skills I unlocked, the uh, 100 Fist Rush, there are actually two versions of it. One of them is your average, uh, well, if you're outside of burst mode and inside burst mode, basically. The version you can do inside burst mode requires you to hammer on your rush combo until the very end, and then he'll just launch right into it. Uh, it lasts longer, it does more damage, but it does count as a different move. So that's neat. Back to the channeling point. 
probably one of the first upgrades I'm going to focus on is getting all of the different secret techniques, just because I like having the options. And it does unlock a lot of options for you. Old school, hundred fist rush! You're already dead. Fist rush! You're already dead. That right there would be the difference between your uh, burst mode hundred fist rush and the non-burst mode hundred fist rush. Both good. Just one is one's better and also has more uh, necessities behind it than the other. Splitting slash. <laughs> Hulk two, hundred fist rush. You're already dead. <laughs> Hey! So, this guy here, our third and last tutorial map, or mission, he's sort of a semi-elite. Some of the enemies you'll run into in the wasteland actually do know a thing about a thing or two about martial arts, and they are more damaging or more dangerous than your average dudes. This guy is one of them. Uh, he has more health, he does more damage, and he actually has a, well, moveset that isn't just flailing or throwing his body at it. Sometimes they can be pretty difficult to deal with. They still have some pretty obvious tells, but obviously trying to find them the first time can be a little difficult. Left. 
Generally speaking, there are two ways to get around blocks. The first one is by breaking the block. The other one is by dodging around behind them. If you're behind an enemy and hitting them in the back of the head, they can't very well block you. By the same token, if you do have a way of knocking up enemies into the air, and you can damage them from there, that's also a pretty effective way of doing damage. Breaker! Why? What now? The game gives us an option to run through those tutorial maps again for levels and whatever other goodies, but you know what? I'm not interested. I have places to be. I'm gonna keep forgetting for a while that I just need skill orbs at this point to unlock more of the skill tree, so if you see me keep going back into that into that tree, that's the reason why. This, however, is also a pretty good move, so I am not shy about picking it up. I have noticed that Kentro spends a lot of time responding with ellipses, which if you use the technique of seeing ellipses as farts in anime, it just always makes things so much better for me. If you're unfamiliar with that, it's it spices up a whole lot of animes. I'm a big fan. Well, RPGs more so than animes, but still, definitely preferential for those strong yeah. but silent types.
Well, looky here. You thought about what you want for your reward? Let me tell you, I don't need freedom or anything. All I want is a night of non-stop banging with her. Welcome to the Coliseum! Ladies and gentlemen, the Gladiator Games! Round one will be a no-rules, no-time-limit battle royale! The last prisoner standing wins our first round! Has everyone placed their bets? Who lives? Who dies? Who's losing both their eyes? Despite calling this a battle royale, it seems awfully like uh, everyone's kind of focused on Kinchiro. Still, during this fight I figured uh, this might be a decent time to talk a little bit more about Shin, since, I mean, he kind of appeared and he was gone just like that. Let's could talk a little bit more about uh, Nanto and his fighting style. So, Shin's style, uh, called uh, Nanto Koshkin, is, uh, well, I guess I should talk a little bit about Nanto versus Hokuto when it comes to the styles. Hokuto, we've seen, is very focused on pressure points and causing people to explode violently. Nanto tends to focus a lot more on external injuries. That could be techniques like Shin's, which focus a lot on stabbing. Um, there are other Nanto techniques that will slice people into pieces. And in one example, there was a guy who used dynamite and called it a Nanto technique. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not a Nanto technique, but you know, whatever works. So Shin style was more focused on stabbing, but that's really Nanto in a nutshell, is it is overwhelming external injuries versus Hokuto's internal injuries. Of course, another large difference being the number of successors there are. Hokuto, over its almost 2,000 year history, only has one successor. And even though they, they may have multiple people vying for that position, there is only one true successor of Hokuto Shinkin. Nanto has 108 major schools, and while there is usually one large time successor of those schools, well, it's still a lot of, it's still a lot of competing schools. <laughs> As for Shin and Kintro's history, I want to say they, at, w at least at one point, were friends. Maybe not childhood friends, but at least, you know, friendly and didn't hate each other. The problem being, at some point, well, Yuria kind of exists in the story to be a, an object of desire, I guess I'd call it. Shin desires her, uh, it comes up again it comes up again later in the series that, you know, more people desire her. But well, for different reasons. She's also associated with Nanto in a way that comes up in the story later. So I'll actually not talk too much about it now. But she does she does serve a larger role in the story aside from just being Kinshiro's uh, well, reason to be. Or reason to explore the wasteland and kill her. Hokuto, fist of penitence. You've got three seconds. Putting enemies into the shop state usually lasts long enough for you to immediately hit it. But sometimes, if enemies are right around you and immediately hit you in the face, you won't always have a chance to immediately hit the strike button. But normally it works out just fine. It does take a little bit of timing, but, you know, give enough time, you'll get it. That little mid-air backflip I was able to do is, an, is a move that's only available to you when you are in burst mode, or if you are very close to death. 
Steel Shredder and being punch. very close to death, being very close to death is a mechanic we might see later on. Might not. Maybe I'll be but maybe I'll be good at this game. That's it. Our winner is Kenshiro. Our next battle is a tag match. The winners of the last round will split into two teams and fight to the death. The rules are simple, just like last time. Whichever side takes down the opposing team wins. And I'll be picking the teams, of course. You... And you are a team now. You're now one side of a brutal two-on-two -two battle. No count on me saving your life out there. I'm not carrying your ass through this fight, understand? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna make you scrawny punks bleed! Hey, you! Don't get in my way, or you're going to hell with them! The hell do you say, punk? Same goes for you! Oh, almost forgot. If teammates attack each other, you're both disqualified. And you can't kill your partner, of course. Teammates have to work together. Am I clear? Yeah. Now it's showtime! The next fight begins now! Unlike the last fight, this one actually is a team fight, and our AI buddy is actually competent enough to distract this guy long enough for me to beat the crap out of this other guy. So I appreciate it. I don't have too much more to say about Nanto for the time being, aside from much like Hulk Sokin Ken is typically referred to as the Fist of the North Star, uh, Nanto Seiken is typically referred to as the Fist of the Southern Cross. Um, whereas the North Star is, uh, Polaris, I think? Well, it's typically associated with the Big Dipper, which is why you see the, you know, the Seven Scars or Seven Stars. The South Star, at least in the West, is typically known as the Milk Dipper. I'll kill you! Just neat little combination things. I'll kill you! So you I'll kill you! So one complaint I've seen about some of the mini bosses in this game is they tend to take a lot of they tend to dodge a lot and block a lot. And I can see that here, but at the same time, I mean it is what it is. I'm Kenshiro. They'll all be dying soon anyway. You could say they're already dead. Hokuto! Spinebreaker! Hokuto! Fist of Penitence! You've got three seconds left. I know those moves. That's Hokuto Shinken, right? People don't die like that from any old martial art. I heard about it from the piece of shit who taught me. And now, I get to see the lethal arts of Hokuto Shinken with my own eyes. Never thought I'd see the day. You know, I killed a lot of people to get here. 
And now I know it was all worth it. Finally, I get a real fight. I heard rumors that Eden's Coliseum had some insane fighter nobody could beat. Guess that's you, huh? What are your fists meant for? What is their purpose? Ha! <laughs> You've mastered lethal arts and you're asking me that? They're for killing. Isn't it obvious? Pathetic. What? Don't tell me you got a problem with that. Like you mastered lethal martial arts for isometric exercise? And if you win this tournament, what will you ask for? Well, guess I'll ask for a license to kill. Seems fair to me, since I'm risking my own life here. I will never understand people like you. It's you I don't get. You think you're some kind of hero? I'm done talking. Show me Hokuto Shinken! And now it's down to two. One on one. Martial artist against martial artist. A real duel, folks. Fight! One last thing I suppose I should mention about Hokuto Shinken while I'm on the subject is, uh... Kinshiro being a successor does not mean he was the only person learning. Uh, he actually had three brothers, and he... well, three brothers in a discipline. And he was the youngest of the four. One of the duties of the successor of Hokuto Shinken is to make sure that nobody else is using it for evil, or in some cases using it at all. Um... I'm sure that won't come up. Probably not a problem. But we will see throughout the throughout the game and some other properties. Well, Hokuto Shinken has a quite an admirable following. Some people are really impressed by Hokuto Shinken, either because of its uh, destructive power or because of what what they think they could do with it. Bone Crusher Strike. I mean. It almost always goes poorly whenever somebody tries to use Hokuto Shinken on Kenshiro, but, you know, little things. Hokuto! Hundred Fist Rush! You're already dead. And the winner is Kenshiro! Holy shit! How did he do all that? Fine. The next guy is gonna tear him apart.
He survived every execution. He's been locked up ten levels down at the prison's lowest level. We've got a real challenger, folks. Let's see how Devil Rebirth destroys him. <laughs> he thought he could beat the games. Nobody walks away from that monster. You hear me, Kenshiro? It doesn't matter how many rounds you win, you're just more goddamn meat! Time for your public execution! in awe at the size of this lab. The absolute unit. I mean, I have got to feel bad for his poor mother because this could not have been easy. Devil Rebirth is a large lad who, honestly, on foot, we have no way of dealing with. So we need to get uh, more on his uh, eye level. By knocking him down to his knees, we can have access to this lad without getting knocked off. Once we reach the top, well... His defense is drastically reduced while we're up top here, so punching him and kicking him in the face has a bit more of an effect than, you know, punching and kicking his shins. After doing enough damage, he will be dazed, and that will be our opportunity to strike. do enough damage to him up top there, probably by saving my my heat mode for that time. I uh, would have been able to go straight into the next uh, the next quick time event needed to finish off this fight. Instead, we'll have to go through this little top portion one more time. Which hey, you know, fine with me. I'm okay with kicking a giant in the face. And of course, now that we're in burst mode, we can do a lot more damage a lot more quickly. One last QTE for the road and we'll put this bad boy to bed. for me, so I hope you join me next time when we finally make our way into Eden.
Never thought you'd actually beat Devil Rebirth, Hotshot. You really do have something special. So can I meet the ruler of the city? Relax. She'll be here in a second. God's sake, this crowd's gonna make me go deaf. Weirdest thing. Could have sworn everyone else was betting on the giant. It appears as though I'm the sole winner. Looks like you're the only one who bet on him. All I can say is, you're paying for drinks tonight. <laughs> we'll see. Sides over Eden. My name is Kisana. You're the ruler of Eden? I offer my congratulations. As the champion, you have earned the right to ask a favor of me. That is the stated code of the Gladiator Games. And thusly, one question remains. What can Eden grant a man of such power? I need to search your city for a woman who is named Yuria. That is all I ask. Very well. I hereby grant you freedom to move about the city as you please. Whoa, what? Kisana, are you serious? You were watching, right? You saw him turn those guys into chunks, right? Jagre, Kenshiro is the champion. And the ruler must grant the champion's wish. That has long been the code of the games. But... but... That's... Am I clear, Jagre? Thank you. Kenshiro, from this day forth, you are a citizen of Eden. I pray that you find what you're looking for here. You listen here, punk. Maybe you've got Kisana's blessing, but I don't trust you. You're on thin fucking ice! Don't you think you can get away with whatever shit you want? I got eyes everywhere, and I'll be watching! Got that? You try anything funny, you even breathe wrong, and I'll kill you on the spot! Aha! Uh -huh. Jagre. Perhaps you could give Kenshiro a tour of the city. What? Wait a sec! Why the hell do I gotta do that? <laughs> 